Hi, Larry Ladowski, and today on Midwest Outdoors, we're gonna have a little kayak fun. And it's starting already. We're in central Illinois at Giant Goose Ranch. And kayak fishing has pretty much continued to just be on the rise as far as Midwest fishermen go. And you can tell why. Because you can get close to these guys. You can get intimate with your surroundings. Fish shallow water, skinny water, and just have a ball. And let this guy go. See ya, buddy. And let's go catch some more. Oh man, this thing's taking me for a ride. I haven't seen what it is yet. It's giving my Veritas a tussle as well. Oh, it's a, it's a striper. Come here, baby. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be easy to land, are you? These fish are like rockets. Come here, buddy. There we go. Oh, bet that's weight. Wow. Hooked him just in the corner. It requires the players, though. You know, it's important when you're kayak fishing to have all your gear right within arm's length of everything at all times. Because you can't move around like you're in a boat, but get my jig out. Beautiful. But that's the nice thing about this Old Town Kayak, too. It's got everything where you need it. Thanks, buddy. I don't think this is a bass. Woo! Oh man! Another striper! Striper fishing is fun out of a kayak. <laughs> it's kind of like musky fishing, they'll take you all over the lake. There we go. There we go. Just a great fight. Pretty fish, too. Now when you're kayak fishing, you also want to be smart about your rod choices because space is limited. Obviously, you're looking, you're fishing in a kayak. You can't bring your entire arsenal of, of rods and reels or gear. Like, so when you can use a, a rod for multiple, multiple types of fishing, like this happens to be a Ned Rig. It's a 6.6 medium Veritas, but I can Ned Rig it with it. I can also switch it up and use it with a wacky worm, or I can even drop shot with it. Same thing with my spinnerbait rod. This happens to be a Shakespeare Ugly Stick Carbon, and I'm using it with a spinnerbait, I can use it with a crankbait, or I can use it with a swimbait. And lastly, I've got a medium heavy, also an Ugly Stick Carbon. This is a 6.8 medium heavy, and I tuned it up with my Revo Rocket, which is a very fast reel speed so that I can, when I'm casting out, especially topwater baits, I can just fish that six to eight feet from the shoreline and then just reel it in really quick. And also, if I'm fishing deep diving crankbaits, I don't have to work as hard reeling it in. And like my tackle box here, it also serves as a, a workstation. This is the Flambeau Satchel. It's got a flat surface area. So when I open it up, I open the compartments, I have a complete workstation right in front of me. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, don't jump. Yes, just real slow presentation there. That worm was just sitting there and it engulfed it. Woo, little fighter. Nice little jump. Fat little bass. Come here, buddy. Jump in the boat. Jump in the kayak with me. These are crazy. Look at the size of this bluegill. Margie, where's the big ones? <laughs> big fish. Oh, this one's got some weight. Oh, big, big fish. Oh. Ooh, we 
got a striper. Oh man, take and drag. You know, and the cool thing is, I'm here on this lake all by myself. And that's what's a benefit of kayak fishing. You can find these little gem lakes. They're all over the place. Not necessarily with stripers in them, but big bass, nice bluegill. Come here, buddy. And there you go. Oh, what a chunk. What a chunk. Folks, if you're thinking about getting into kayak fishing, I highly recommend it. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. I'll catch you later. Beautiful.